What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm gonna talk about how to fix EA app download speed is slow and how we can fix this app. So let me directly get into this step. So first one, just go over here and open your EA app. Now from here you have to click over here at the three dot menu and navigate to the settings. And right now from here what we need to do is you have to keep scrolling down and navigate to downloads. So over here you can see there is a download. So over here you can see if you have set any kind of limit download rate has been set into 20 MB or 10 MB or 5 MB vice versa you'll be having the trouble. So make sure that it's been set into unlimited. That's what you have to try. And now what we need to do is afterwards you just need to go back over here into the over here at the top now click on the help and there is an option called app recovery you have to click on the app recovery and right now it is going to ask you for clear the cache so what happens it will be just like dust of some files in order to refresh the app and you get back to the naming which means you need to log in back even after reset restarting and any unsaved data may be lost that's what it's going to do so just make sure that it is successfully done as the first step Afterwards, we have to follow the instruction here. Next one is all about just go over here, search for the CMD and you have to click on run as administrator and go for yes. Right now type IP config over here and you have to put a space slash and you have to type flash DNS and you have to press enter. Next one what we need to just type IP config and you have to put a space slash release and you have to press enter. Next one we have to type NETSH Windsock and go for reset and you have to press enter. Once afterwards we just need to go over here after done with this one we have to try very important one thing that is NETSH put a space INT put a space TCP put a space set put a space global over here and that's what you have to type and afterwards you have to type O to tuning level equal then you have to type equal you have to type normal and press enter and you have to check so try all these steps on the cmd now close this and you have to check with the app still if you're having the trouble we just need to go over here search for the control panel and you have to click over here in the control panel now click on the network and internet navigate to the network and sharing center and right now navigate to the change adapter settings go for the wi-fi right click on this one go for the properties now from here we just need to select this one and go over here use the following DNS server. So here we have to give the 8 value 8, 8, 8, 8, go for 8, 8, sorry, should be 8, 4 and we have to go for 4. That's what we have to try. Just go for 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 4 and 4. Once the value is been successfully set, you just need to close everything and go back to the EA app and you have to check. Most probably this should be completely fixed. And that's what you have to try and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. That's it. Bye bye.